Here in this video we are going to learn binary subtraction. We will take three examples of different complexity and learn binary subtraction. And let me tell you the third one is the most complex binary subtraction. So without wasting time let's get started. Actually the binary subtraction is similar to the decimal subtraction. But the only difference is here in binary subtraction there are only two digits 0 and 1. When we subtract 0 from 0, we will get 0 in binary. And when we subtract 0 from 1, we will get 1 in binary. And when we subtract 1 minus 1, we will get 0. But the last option involves borrowing. When we try to subtract 1 from 0, practically it is not possible. So in that case, when we subtract 1 from 0, borrowing is needed. Because here, you cannot subtract 1 from 0. So when you subtract these two, the subtraction is 1 and the borrow will be 1. But why and how this happens, I will explain it with the next example. So now let's jump to the next example. Here we are going to subtract these two binary numbers. We will begin the subtraction with the rightmost column and then subsequently we will move towards the left hand side. So here in rightmost column we will subtract 1 from 1. So when you subtract 1 from 1, the answer is 0. And then we'll move to the next column. Here in next column we are going to subtract 1 from 0. So here we can't do straightforward subtraction. So here we need to borrow 1 from the next column. Just like we borrow 10 in decimal subtraction. To understand this let's take a small example. See here. In decimal if we want to subtract 8 from 6 it is not possible. So what we used to do. So we borrow 1 from the next column but the weightage of next column is 10 times higher than the previous column. So when we borrow this 1 in this column its magnitude becomes 10 times higher. So when we borrow 1 from here it becomes 10 instead of 1. So we bought 1 from here so it becomes 10 and what's left here it's 0. Now we'll do subtraction 10 plus 6 gives us 16 so 16 minus 8 that gives us 8. But in binary numbers, when we borrow 1 from the next column, the weightage of next column is 2 times higher than the weightage of previous column. So when we borrow 1 from here to this column, it becomes 2 times higher. And how can we write 2 in binary? That is 1, 0. So that is why when we borrow 1 from this column to this column, we used to write 1, 0 instead of 1. Now previously here there was only 1 and we bought that 1 into the next column. So what's left over here? That is 0. So now after borrowing 1 from the next column, this column has the magnitude 1 0. So now we are going to subtract this 1 from 1 0. So 1 0 is actually 2 and this 1 is 1. So if you subtract 1 from this 2, the answer is 1. So that is why when you subtract 1 from 1 0, the answer is 1. Now let's jump to the next column, here there is 0, here there is also 0, so subtract this 0 from 0, the answer is 0 and here both the terms are 1, so when you subtract 1 from 1, the answer is 0. So this is simple subtraction. Now in next example, we are going to see a little bit more complex subtraction than this and before moving there, I would like to ask you that, are you enjoying learning this? If yes, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Because your one like and subscription motivates me a lot to make this type of videos. So with this, now let's move to the next subtraction. So now here we are going to subtract these two numbers and we'll start with the rightmost column. So here both the terms are 1. So when we subtract 1 from 1, the answer is 0. Now here when you try to subtract 1 from 0, it is not possible. So what we'll do? Just try to recall. We are going to get borrow from the next column. So now we'll take borrow from the next column. So when you bring borrow back, it becomes 1, 0, 2 times higher. Now initially there were 1, but you borrowed this 1 to the previous column. So what's left over here? It's 0, right? So now it's time to subtract this 1 from this 1, 0. The answer is 1. Now let's jump to the next column. Here there is 0 and it is 1. So you cannot subtract this 1 from 0. So again, we'll take borrow from the next column. So we will take borrow from this 1, it becomes 1, 0 over here and this becomes 0. So now let's again subtract this 1 from 1, 0, the answer is 1 and let's jump to the next column. 
so here we are going to subtract the 0 from 0 it's 0 1 from 1 it's 1 so the answer of this subtraction is 1 1 0 now if you want to verify that this subtraction is correct or not then there is a simple way to do it find the decimal equivalent to this number and decimal equivalent to this number and subtract these two and verify that the answer is decimal equivalent to this binary number or not after this the next subtraction is even more complex so now let's jump to the next subtraction so here we are going to subtract these two numbers and we are going to start with the rightmost column so when you subtract 1 from 1 the answer is 0 here you are trying to subtract the 0 from 1 but that cannot be possible so now this digit is looking for the borrow from where it can get borrow from the next column but now the next column is also 0 so next column is not capable to give borrow so now what we'll do now again we'll look for the borrow to the next column for this one so next column is one and it is capable enough to give borrow so we'll take borrow from this column to this column so this will become one zero and this will become zero now this column is capable enough to give borrow to the previous column now this column will ask for borrow to this column and it will give borrow to this column so it will become 1 0 now initially this column was 1 0 it gave borrow 1 to the previous column so now what's left over here it's left with 1 because 1 0 is 2 and after 2 it gives 1 borrow to the previous column what's left at that place 1 so that is why we get 1 over here and now we'll come to this column for the subtraction so here when you try to subtract 1 from 1 0 you will get 1 then we'll jump to the next column here we are going to subtract this 1 from this one and we'll get 0 as answer so here in next column we are trying to subtract this 1 from 0 but it is not possible so again we'll ask for the borrow to the next column so here it is 1 so we'll ask for borrow we'll take one borrow from this place to this place so it becomes 1 0 and what's left over here it's 0 now here you try to subtract this 1 from 1 0 and you will get 1 as this subtraction so the final answer is 1 0 1 0 so this was a little bit more complex subtraction right if you find this video useful do not forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to this channel that was the subtraction of whole number similar to this if you want to learn binary subtraction of a fraction number then you can refer this video and if you are interested in learning binary addition division subtraction multiplication or all arithmetic operations with octal number system and all arithmetic operations with hexadecimal number system then you can refer this playlist and if you are interested in learning logic gates with animations then you can refer this playlist these two binary subtraction is provided here for self practice Solve it right now and write the answer in comments to check your answer is correct or not. So see you into the next video of fractional binary subtraction.